All right, guys, we got another video for you to see a process on how we do the Mopar um, insert. Just to get to this piece, just to get to the middle part or insert, however you call it, we have to break the whole door panel in three pieces. As you see over here, see? This is the top part of it. This piece goes on top of this afterwards. And then the insert go in here. Just to, you know. Oh no, it's backwards. This goes like this. And then this goes on top of it. And then the armrest. As you see, this is ready to be assembled. And we got the seats going also. We got the same pattern inside the seats and on the inserts. Uh, we also have a few door panels already ready. As you see over here. I was working on this ones before we start the video. I was doing that part. This part is already done. So this is ready to go on a, uh, on the car. And uh, But I was trying to show you guys how we do it. We break it in basically one, two, three, four, five pieces to get that result. We got the seat already done. Uh, we're just waiting on the embroidery to come back. It's going to be uh, one of these emblems, but white leather and black stitching. So we're waiting on that. Mike is doing his thing with that. And uh, we got these red ones too. They're ready to go. They nice. This is a Jeep and this is a Hellcat. Uh, we also have uh, CJ's uh, back in, in the building. He want me to fix these door panels, which this, uh, well, we don't need to say anything about it, but we're going to fix it. We're going to uh, break them apart as that piece over there and um this is uh the final result on a door panel when you break it apart see that line over here it's supposed to split up so we got that and we have to do the same thing on this one i told him at the beginning to break them apart but um now it's back we're gonna finish this one too it's just gonna take a little of time because we have to break them apart and uh we have this ones i like the white and black the seats look gorgeous i'm very sure you guys like them we got the back seat ready too we just we just need to steam them up a little bit to get these little wrinkles out. But that's how we do. We do uh, all free uh, freehand uh, stitching. I show you guys how we do it on the past video. And on the next video, I'm very sure I'm going to do an old school with you guys. So... When we do that, I'm going to take my time and show you the process. We got a lot of them over here to do. And uh, all this stitching over here is done like uh, I draw on them. Uh, you can still see the little marks over here. I mark them one by one and then guide myself with it so 
we got them done the seeds are almost ready to go we have one over here the backrest we just gotta do one more piece which is this and uh well we're ready we're ready to rock and roll see so just give me a minute i'm gonna work on assembling this one if you guys want to see how we do it i'm gonna show you guys uh in a little bit that's what we do only thing has to be done is place this correctly as a puzzle see it has some guidelines over here this have to click in uh, also the front part of it it has to click in over here too so if you have this point in place and you have these two points in place that means is the right way to go so what I do is I hold them with some screws but you have to know how to screw them up though so I will show you in a little bit when I got this this on okay we got the insert in place see you can shake it you can do whatever you want to do with it it's already together it's in, right, in the right place as you see this the guidelines these three guidelines so that's how it look now it look funny but it has to take its place then you can snap this back on Now we got that the armrest sit on here but I'm gonna show you guys that now it's time to put this piece back on okay so we're gonna place this one too this one over here see this we have uh, this little hole over here it's not letting me do what I supposed to so now I know what's bothering me you just have to be careful when you cut it you don't want to cut too far because if you cut too far when you turn the, the panel around if you see the, the your material cut off, then it sucks because you have to redo it. You don't want to do that.
okay you see this this is your this is your guideline over here you see this one over here this little piece over here that's your guideline if this is in place you're good you can start tightening them up all right guys everything is in place you can shake this door panel how you want it's all skewered all together see this was the one we just working on and then now it's time to it's time for us to snap the armrest so You snap it in. Only thing you gotta do now is some screws over here. You see these screws over here? They going back. That's to tie the armrest uh, up. And I still got my pieces over here. Now we gotta use a number seven. If you use in a drill. Don't go crazy. You know, you just have to go easy with it. So now we got the screws in place. On the back panel is only three screws. Then, other than that, the panel is complete. It's nice. We're gonna clean this glue off. Um, you know, uh, I'm gonna show you too what you can use to clean the, the glue when you have some glue on the material like that you can you can buy this you know it's a uh, glue gun this is what I use to get the glue off so what I do is I just spray a little bit on it leave it there for a minute just for a minute then when you come back all this glue it comes off itself see you start rubbing on it like this start coming off so now i'm going to leave it like that for a minute and go get me a clean towel because it's white, it's too delicate. We're gonna leave it like that. If you have some glue on your panels or on your seat or on your car, this glue gun, it doesn't damage any material or paint or, you know, you can read the instructions anyways. So, as you see, it's clean. No damage or anything like that. So, now we're good with this panel. Uh, only thing we need to do now is install on the car as um, 
as, as I'm telling you guys, uh, this is a process a, a lot of people think like doing customization is uh, like cooking hot dogs, but it ain't like that. You know, uh, it takes time, patience, and um, I think when you're doing something like this, is the is the result of your is is the result of uh, what you feel like. Like if you really feel you're uh, doing this, that's how it turned out. So I'm very sure if you like what you do. Uh, you get better results. Uh, I love to do this. And thank you guys for watching the video. And we're going to continue going with it. Uh, we're going to show you how to do hydro dipping probably tomorrow or the next video or whatever. We do the hydro dipping. Jason Williams just dropped some vessels today. Uh, and that's the next project I want to show you guys how to do it like from primer to paint and then dip it pack it and you know we want to do all that too we want to show you how to do woodworking and all that stuff support your guy SD all right guys um, now I really want to show you this Hellcat uh, I'm done with it. We did the seats. We did the door panels. That's all we did to it. Um, prende las luces, man. All right, guys. We back here. Uh, we just finished putting this back together. It's a Hellcat that I want to show you with the white interior, as you see in there. Uh, it looks very, very nice. Uh, you see that? Nice lights. This guy got some LED lights around too. It's a beautiful Hellcat. Um, See those seats that I was showing yesterday? They came out nice. They beautiful. We got the back seats too. Done. See that? Rear panels. They paint the dash. Uh, I'm going to show you the door panels over here. Uh, we want to show you everyone. Oh. I don't know if you remember, but yesterday we was putting this together. We did not finish everything last night. We had to work on it today. Everything looks good. Only thing we got to do is clean up. And then we're going to be done with it. Buddy's on his way to pick it up. So we're trying to take a video before he makes it here. Back seats. A video to me, it doesn't do justice, you know. i rather you guys see this in person. We're not trying to use no apps or stuff like that to show you a good quality. Then you see it's a bad quality. No, we try to show you what it is. See, we just got to clean it up. And it's, an, it's a nice car. I really love th this car. You guys want to see how it sounds? Prendeloma.
Mas... I'm gonna show you something in the door too. Pagar las luces. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Comment. Ask a question if you have to. Uh, tell us what you think about the job we do. Peace out.